Plants vs. Zombies. A game that came out around the same time I was born. So obviously, I'm not an avid Plants vs. Zombies enjoyer, but I have played it since 2015, but I didn't start out playing the first game. No, I started out playing the second game. I mean, the second game just seemed like the better option. I mean, it is the second edition. After all, you know, you got way more plants, more adventures, more everything. It just seemed like the better option. And also, what even is that? But anyway, today's video will be completing all of the first Plants vs. Zombies game with only using mushroom plants. Now, here are the rules for this challenge. Rule number one, and it's pretty obvious, we can only use plants that are mushrooms. Rule number two, how I determine if they're a mushroom or not is common sense and if they have shroom in their name. So, yeah. And rule number three, any challenge that requires me that to use different plants like the conveyor belt challenge the walnut challenge i will let that slide because there's absolutely no way for me to use mushrooms in those levels so those don't count also rule number four which is going to be the final rule i have to use the coffee bean plant because mushroom plants in this game aren't awake in the morning so you have to use this coffee bean plant to wake him up. So I'm allowed to use the coffee bean plant and that's the only plant I'm allowed to use other than a mushroom. I started this challenge off creating a new account, but then I soon realized that I wouldn't be able to start off the challenge with mushrooms because you get them in the second set of levels. And even after that, I, did, I wouldn't have the coffee bean yet. So I would have to do every daytime level with not mushrooms. And what's the challenge in that? So, luckily, I have an account where I beat the entire game and have basically everything so I can play this challenge the correct way. And when you start on the first level again with a account you've already beat the game with, Crazy Dave chooses three of your plants for you, so we have way less spaces. I don't know if I can like turn this off or make this different, but yeah, I decide to go in with the mushroom that costs zero which and recharges really fast the sun mushroom of course the doom shroom which you if you don't know what that is uh you'll find out soon enough the scary shroom and of course the coffee bean to wake them up the first level obviously isn't that difficult just regular zombies without anything on them or with them but still got to be cautious of how i use my sun because if i don't wake a sun shroom up at the start the only sun i get is from the sky which i end up doing here Soon enough, the first huge wave of zombies of this challenge comes in and we have a full line of skater shrooms. Could have taken them out on their own, but I have a lot of sun to spare. So I, I decide to use the doom shroom and I put him down, I wake him up and just let him do his thing. Level one was pretty easy. Only lost three lawnmowers and we ended the game off with uh, a doom shroom. Crazy Dave still gave us some dumb plants as his three, but and I decided to go for a different strat. I decided to go for the gloom shroom, which if you didn't know, the one that costs 150 up there, I can only use it if I already have the other mushroom down, the other big purple one. So yeah, and I went with the sun shroom and the skater shroom, and I didn't go with the one that costs zero this round. This level is the level where I started to despise scaredy shroom. Cause look at him, bro is hiding from a dead zombie. He sees a dead body walking towards him and he hides in the ground. And it's not even like the scary shroom hides and the zombies like walk over him. No, he still dies. Like if you're gonna die and you know you're gonna die anyway, why not go out fighting? Like I don't get it. The gloom shroom in the middle did do some work this round, but I'm not really sure if he's like the strat. But anyway, level two was also pretty easy. Had no trouble there. Level three introduces the conehead zombies, which I mean, if you don't know what a conehead zombie is, I, why are you even watching this video? But 
Fume Shroom, I'm gonna be using him instead of Doom Shroom. Cause Doom Shroom isn't just really worth it all that much. Cause since you have to use the coffee bean to wake him up too to even use him, like you have to spend 200 sun at once. So, and you don't really have that saved up when you're playing in the daytime with only mushrooms. So yeah, level three knocked down pretty easily with two whole lines of Fume Shrooms, a whole line of Scary Shrooms and three mushrooms, sun mushrooms. And yeah, on to level four. Level four got knocked down just as easily as level three. Basically the same strat because there's no new zombies. And then level five is the first level where we come to where we can't use mushrooms because it's walnut bowling. And obviously as one of the rules state, it, this level doesn't count. You know, walnut bowling seemed like a fun time, a different change of pace. But in the end, it just made me frustrated that I almost lost to Walnut Bowling. And since I wasn't doing any challenge with it, it was basically my skill and I almost lost because I am terrible at this. Because there was just so many zombies coming at you at once because so, it was kind of hard. So, uh, level six introduces a new zombie, the pole vaulting zombie. And basically what he does is he runs out with his pole and he basically just jumps over your first plant and then he loses the pole. And then I don't know really if he does, but I think he just turns into a regular zombie after that. But I don't know why, but I decided to go for the ice room for this one just to change things up. And yeah, I actually end up losing on level six and I bet you couldn't guess whose fault is. Go ahead, guess. Not in this clip part in particular, but I can't tell you how many times I've died because of Scary Shroom. I actually hate him after doing this challenge. Like, one lane, one of my lanes gets wiped out and the lawnmower goes, right? I'm like, okay, I can rebuild this. I can win this game still, no biggie, just rebuild the lane, right? But then the scaredy shroom above or below that lane that just got wiped out hides because of the zombies in the lane below him. Like, bro, did you just come out of the soil? Like, do you not know how plants versus zombies work? If a zombie is in a different lane, he ain't coming for you, little bro. Like, why are you still hiding? And then that lane gets wiped out because bro's hiding the entire time instead of shooting the zombies in his lane coming at him. Like, bro, you're dying because you're hiding from the zombies that aren't even attacking you. Luckily, I locked in and beat it on the second try. And I actually used the Gloom Shroom because he's pretty good, you know, when you have enough sun for him. But yeah, that's how I ended up winning using the Gloom Shroom. I still hate the scary shroom. I had to restart on this level once or twice because this level obviously is the next level so it's going to be a little harder but they had the same zombies so I expect it to you know be not any like not a lot harder okay but it was like taking an atomic bomb and making it 50 times bigger like it's still an atomic bomb but can but it can wipe out the whole planet like this is what it was like playing this level also what is it with them giving me freaking conehead zombies at the beginning of the game? If you didn't know, Scaredy Shroom, because he sucks, can't take out a conehead zombie by himself, even all the way back at the beginning of the lawn. So, I have to use the mushroom that costs zero every single time I get it, so it can be just be eaten by the conehead zombie, and I just keep sacrificing these little mushrooms to the freaking conehead zombies, so my scary shroom has enough time to kill him. Like, ah, uh, level six and seven, probably the most painful levels of this experience so far. Level eight introduces the buckethead zombie, and again, if you're watching this video, you should know what a buckethead zombie is. So. Obviously, this level is going to be much harder. Crazy Dave didn't give us any beans again, so we're going to have one less bean. Why did I say beans? What? <sighs> what was I? I actually dealt with my first buckethead level very well. Um, I beat the first buckethead that came, but as you can see in the very bottom lane, um, my whole lane got wiped by him. So, And of course, Scaredy Shroom hid. So both of my bottom lanes got wiped out by him. But I still ended up beating level eight 
first try actually, which was kind of surprising how I failed on level six and seven once and those were just cone heads and then I get a bucket head and I win on the first try. I don't know. It really seemed like on the bottom lane I was gonna die, but again, the sacrificial zero sun cost mushrooms just carried me through it. And yeah, that's how I beat level eight. Level nine has every zombie type featured in this level that we've gone against so far. And I decided to bring the magnet mushroom, which, you know, I brought it cause you know, I was like, okay, there's bucket heads in here and bucket heads were kind of a problem last time. They were kind of difficult to deal with. And as you can see, that was a terrible idea cause I didn't even make it to where the bucket heads spawned in. My entire force got wiped out before I could even think about using a freaking magnet mushroom for the freaking bucket head. All of my lanes got wiped out by just everything. It's like a chain reaction. One lane gets wiped out, and then while that lane's getting wiped out, you know, the scary shrooms are hiding in all the other lanes because he absolutely is trash. He's hiding in all the other lanes, so it's just a chain reaction. One lane gets wiped out, the skater shrooms in both of the other lanes are hiding, so that those lanes get wiped out, and then the last two lanes get wiped out because of the skater shroom. It just all comes down to it being the scary shrooms' fault. I don't know how. Like, I honestly don't know how. Like, that much loss can be on one plant. I just don't know how. I mean, the scary shroom manages it, being the worst plant, like, in the entire game. But yeah, while I was trying to freaking find out how to beat this level, I went to the help section to try to remove Dave's plant options so I could have more mushrooms at once and definitely have a better chance of winning. And I go to the freaking help section and this message pops up. Help for plants and zombies game. When the zombies show up, just sit there and don't do anything. You win the game when the zombies get to your house. Like bro, if this, if that level didn't frustrate me enough, that help section really did. Thanks for the help, zombies. Thank you. For this next attempt, I decided to go with the Hypno Shroom. And don't get me wrong, the Hypno Shroom is a good plant, but it's just this challenge that makes it terrible because I have to spend 150 sun just to make one work. So, but yeah, this attempt didn't work either. I ended up restarting again because although the hypno shroom i hypnotized like the first two conehead zombies the other lanes just didn't have enough time to react you know i didn't have enough sun to react with all the lanes so i ended up going down pretty quickly here and restarting so yeah i ended up going back to my first strat to beat this level just a bunch of scaredy shrooms and fume shrooms and i actually beat this level with only one sun shroom that gave me enough sun to beat this entire level. And then we won a note that says, hello, we are about to launch an all out attack on your house. Sincerely zombies. So thank you zombies once again, thank you. Level 10, we didn't use mushrooms cause we couldn't. Cause level 10 is just a bunch of zombies coming and you use whatever plants they give you. And obviously I'm dominating this level unlike I usually do for every other level, but yeah, this level was really easy. A toddler could probably beat it, honestly. And toddlers probably have beat it. I mean, you know, this is this is a kid's game. The next 10 levels are the mushrooms territory. It is now nighttime in our front yard and I don't have to use the coffee bean to wake the mushrooms up anymore. So this is gonna be extremely easy. The next 10 levels, I don't think I lost a single time. I beat them all. So I'm gonna go over all of them really quickly. Level one of nighttime introduces a new type of zombie, the newspaper zombie. And when you shoot his newspaper and tear it, he becomes extremely angry and charges at you. But uh, he's no match for the scary shroom because you know, sc scary shroom is the MVP. Already level two introduces bucket heads and cone head zombies into nighttime with the newspaper zombies. Level three introduces the screen door zombie, which this is the fume shrooms zombie, okay? Fume shroom is the only plant that can shoot through the screen doors and kill the zombie through it. If you don't have the fume shroom, you have to completely destroy the entire screen door. And also look at Crazy Dave's selections. He has three mushrooms. 
We can use every single type of mushroom on this level because of his freaking choices. This level has conehead zombies, pole vaulting zombies, and the screen door zombies. So this level went down pretty easily since we had our doom shroom and fume shroom. The next level was Whack a Zombie, which didn't require us to use any plants other than mushrooms, but we didn't use any mushrooms either. You see, I can just kill these zombies with the hammer, and at the top, it gives us the potato mine, the grave digger, and the cherry bomb. But if I can complete a level without using the mushrooms, of course, I'll do it. But this level was only hard at the end, as you can see right now trying to kill all the bucket heads before they reach the lawnmower was kind of difficult kind of made my fingers sore but overall level was really easy the next level level six introduces the iconic football zombie which if you don't know what he does for some reason he charges out and he basically just hits the first zombie he comes in contact with and like insta kills it but luckily I brought doom shroom which like obliterates bro the next level is basically the exact same thing, so nothing really exciting going on there. The next level introduces the dancing zombie, where every time he hits a little jig, he summons like four other zombies, two below and above him and the other two beside him, which he wasn't really a big deal in this level, but yeah. The next level, the last level for the second, set is a conveyor belt level where they give you just bunch of mushrooms but the only plant that they give you that's not mushroom is the grave digger and obviously i don't use him but yeah this was pretty easy and it was also actually quite fun to do this i mean it wasn't really like i was doing the challenge anymore because all the plants they gave me anyway was basically mushrooms but yeah on to the third set after the last level, we go back to the daytime, but this time we're in our backyard with a pool. Now, again, we have to whip out the coffee bean to wake up our mushrooms, but we have a new plant, a new mushroom that we can put in the water. His name is the sea shroom, and I'll tell you why I also hate him later, but for right now, we don't too, do too bad in the beginning. It's just like a normal level. Everything starts going downhill when we get to the zombies that go into the water. A conehead zombie is now entering the water, right? I only have two of the freaking sea shrooms alive. The sea shrooms, or at least I thought, were exactly like the land version. Also cost zero. And you know it takes me about like five of those to kill one conehead, right? But since I have to wake them all up, and I can't use lily pads because they're not a mushroom, so I can't put any actual plants into the water, so I have to put these freaking small sea shrooms, but they like die, like extremely bad to this freaking conehead zombie. Okay, you might just think, well, you have to plan ahead and put more of them. Okay, I tried that. I have a couple attempts on this now. I've tried that. But this is my beef with the sea shrooms. They're just like the regular ones that are on land. To put it in perspective, the regular shroom on land only takes like five seconds to get again. This dude, for some reason, takes 20 seconds to replenish. But he's the exact same thing as the land one, but in water. I don't get it. Like, I can just spam the other one on land and just kill a conehead zombie with just them because the cooldown's so low. But the same exact plant that can float on water is different like i don't get it. i tried using the ice shroom with this to freeze the cone head while the little sea shrooms were shooting him so he could kill the cone head and this actually worked for the first cone head but then the other ones came in and i couldn't afford enough ice shrooms so obviously i'm gonna need a new plan a plan that definitely won't fail a plan that will defeat this level and all the pool levels and I know exactly what to do. I'll...